This is the nanodrop. It is a spectrophotometer used to measure the quanti quantities of nucleic acids in solution. So we're going to quantify our samples here to determine how many nanograms of DNA actually came out of the gel fragment that we just cleaned through the gel extraction process. So we have everything ready. We've got a pipette, a 1 to 10 pipette, 1 to 10 pipette tips, the nanodrop, some RNA free water or DNA free water, Kim wipes, our samples, computer, <laughs> person, student, <laughs> Or 3.0. We're going to quantify nucleic acids. Okay, so we need to add a blank to standardize the nanodrop. We lift up the little arm there, wipe off the tip just so we know that no one else's sample was left on there inadvertently. Okay, we have a tip on there. How, what's the volume you're putting on there? If you use 1.5, you actually get less less bubbles, and it's a little easier to to place on the little spot. Okay, 1.5 microliters. Simply gets a microliter out of the tube. Right on top of there, we add a little drop. Okay. So there's a little drop now on that bead. And then we lower the arm, okay? And that wire coming out of the top is actually a fiber optic cable. And it's sending light through there, and it's in the bottom there's the reader. And it measures the absorbance of light coming through there, or diffraction for the DNA. Okay, and then on the machine, it said okay. So we have our water loaded. It's analyzing. Here, a little click. There we go. Okay, so this is actually the blank. We're adding the water on again, lowering the arm, hit clicking on, where is it? Clicking on blank, okay. So now we're getting a blank, making a blank measurement. The machine will make two clicks again. Okay, there's our blank. Now we do sample one. So now we get sample one. It's a good idea to flick it a little bit just to make sure the solution is uniform. There's no gradient of DNA going across it. Usually isn't, but not a bad habit to do. Okay, place the sample right on the bead. There we go. You entered in 74 in the sample ID, okay. Now clicks on measure. All right, so it's making a measurement. There it is. Here's the profile. Not a great profile by any means, but there's a little bump there. It's not straight flat. 4.8 nanograms per microliter. And how many microliters do we have? 50. We have 50 microliters. 4 times 50, so that's 200 nanograms total. Okay, let's do one more for the video. And of course, Jonathan will continue with the remaining samples off tape. Picks up one and a half microliters. Places that on the drop. Okay. It's important not to get any bubbles in that drop when it's on the lead there, otherwise, you'll get faulty measurements. He changed the new sample to 75, then simply clicks measure. We're waiting for a measurement. 3.9. Not a terrible amount, not a terribly high amount of our DNA, but some. On to sample three.